Thank you, John. Thanks. <coughs> I, I will deviate slightly from the uh, from the research. How do I get to? Um, the <coughs> rather than talking about a, a my uh, own research or anything, I would like to talk about the center, how it was formed, how it survived, and how he, you can attract other people, maybe um, even without going to a cocktail or creating other interest. That was very interesting, uh, Jane, you mentioned, and most of the time you really interact with people over lunch or something and you find the common interest topics. Okay, in any case, our whole idea of the center when we fo formed was to have a typical, of course, qualified workforce, innovative products, and improved tooling. I'm not asking you to read all those. There will be very many um, de uh, these input uh, things in the research area, in the students, everything will have to be combined. So I will really try to say that how we are now currently and, and this new market campus, we are trying to interact with like ours is the Composites Research Center and um, then you have got, oh, it's not working, um, and, and the Robotics Research Center, Manufacturing, all the other groups. In fact, um, unless we work with each other, it is almost impossible to progress any further. Now, this diagram is complicated, originally created for an MBI review to confuse them, but, <laughs> but since then I have used it. It has been actually even international uh, talks, they, they have said that it gives us an idea. If you look at the right from the left, uh, New Zealand industry, then we have got overseas industry sponsors. Right, quite interesting is right from BMW to Disney. Uh, in fact, it, it will be very surprising. They are working with us on their new, um, uh, uh, new version of Pirates of the Caribbean, Mad Hatter's Party, all those things, how to change the material and how to make them more, <coughs> this manufacturing easy. And DuPont, Boeing, we are directly working with ARM, Association of Rotation Molders. So there are, and also CRC, SES, it is a cooperative research center in Australia. Uh, in fact, we managed to get more than a million dollars from them to do some research. So, of course, the funding agency, MBIE, and its uh, various generations of this MBIE and variations. At TEC, we did get uh, interact with that and quite a bit of funding, German Science Foundation, EU Office of Naval Research. We have been working with them for seven years, eight years now. The fourth project has been approved and also BK21+, plus, that is the Brain Korea 21 and Korean Science Foundation. And recently we have participated in ARC Discovery and Linkage, and there is real money, not that simply participation. I, I'm not interested really anymore in that. Um, that uh, and also New Zealand collaborators, University of Waikato, AUT, Scion, IRL, or Kalan Innovation, uh, DTA. And I, another thing is we have started collaborating with this Faculty of Medical and Health Science, it's an ABI. It is very, very uh, important because our areas, as I said, from aerospace to um, coronary stent. So if we give that background, and I'm not asking you to read all those, uh, these words there, but the research area will be novel materials. That's what we try to develop right from this uh, self-healing material. Yadranka just mentioned that. Why is it not showing any? This pointer is not working. <laughs> the pointer is, uh, yeah. If you um, look at the self-healing materials to some of the other things I'll try to explain from also fire resistance of the materials that has become important. Then process development, that's very, very important. And for that, we have ri rightly, our colleagues have been picked up for BMW Munich for their I3 and I8. I'll give you an example. One of my colleagues, Professor Simon Bickerton, was seconded there for three years because we have developed here some kind of process control and, and advanced manufacturing system. So they were interested in that. And then if we look at the other areas is structures and applications. Uh, we, that Office of Naval Research project is that water slamming when the high speed 
uh, these uh, jet boats uh, go, uh, what sort of slamming effect is there. We are, uh, partner is uh, Caltech there. They are doing the loading analysis and we are doing the design analysis. So these are the main areas. I try to give you an overview of this thing because really we don't have and, uh, much time. One thing I wanted to emphasize, and it has been very successful, at least in our case, that we try to give, <coughs> associate the students with some particular projects. Not that they will be working only on that project, but they have some goal in the future. We can see all these PhD students are working on projects with some related to some eventual goal or industrial usage. And like altitude, this is the New Zealand's now primary uh, this, uh, um, air, um, aircraft interior products, BMW. And now it is changing, of course. BMW has increased the funding, so we are trying to get two more students. But all of them are actually work there. Not necessarily we surrender our publication rights or anything. You will see from next one that we have been active there as well that uh, 250 publications and uh, well, quite a bit and, and quite a few keynote plenary talks. I'll give you a few examples because there is not much time left. That is one thing we have done and we have actually created an uh, international platform on that, that we blend two materials and in fact in process them in such a manner that one of the materials, one of the polymers can fibrilize inside, micro or nanofibril. In fact, we are not adding any um, reinforce, reinforcement there. It is actually there inside, and we can create those yarns. And those materials, not only from mechanical properties, but it has shown some other excellent properties, that this is the thing. We do create some, uh, created all these fibrils inside by processing it and that creates enormous strength. We can also add carbon nanotube, create EMI shielding there, and um, also the property, we by chance found that oxygen permeability properties are also improved about three times higher. So we manufactured some milk containers and showed that in fact the milk life can be extended even after two weeks after the expiry date, milk was fine. So these things can be done. Finally, we use that material also for coronary stent. We are working with a uh, um, San Francisco-based, Silicon Valley-based company there. We are developing some st biodegradable stent material, which will have a much better mechanical property and degradation property as well. Because after degradation, you will have to maintain certain creep properties, and, and that's what we can control by creating these micro or nanofibrils. In fact, what we do, in fact, the cell, another thing was the tissue scaffold. Uh, Yadranka has talked about uh, electrospinning. That's a very common process, but that involves uh, organic solvent, and many surgeons are not interested in having organic solvents there. So we have used completely one of the polymers would be water soluble, so we used water and in fact, we have removed that polymer and we created this three-dimensional cell structure. I'll show you the result and we'll stop there. In fact, if you look at uh, this uh, live dead st um, stain analysis, I have uh, worked with Professor Jill Cornish and in fact, this is the result. Our result is uh, after 14 days, lots of live cells or a few dead cells, but they are e comparable very much to the common scaffold material that is available in the market. Can I have 30 seconds there? Okay. Because I want to, uh, I, I can uh, remove that. That's another thing we have created. The natural fibers will have to be utilized, renewable. And so first time, in, uh, and we are going through a, you know, this patenting process with another German company that created this natural fiber tape by putting those natural fibers through a process, powder coating, and finally this tape is produced. And that tape then can be used 
in, in continuous manufacturing automated on a, uh, using the robots in tape laying machines are available and we have used them. I do not want to show you the video. This tape can be used directly for manufacturing that for very advanced manufacturing. So that has added another side of it. This is one of the things we have developed for this partition when you go from the cattle class to a better class in the, uh, in, the, in the aircraft. Apparently people get so frustrated they kick. So uh, impact, <laughs> impact property had to be controlled apart from the flammability part control. So with that, in fact, I would like to finish. I'll finish with this graphene, this other side. We are working on the nano composites area. This is with, uh, in fact, uh, 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 this memory cell. You can see that gyro shaped memory polymer. In fact, it originally it was shaped like that by changing the temperature or any other environment. Afterward, after five seconds, it will become straight. And then we create that uh, control this atmosphere, it will again become like that. So it is, it is very useful in a remote place where con environment can be controlled and we are putting graphene, has been first time in shape memory polymer and in fact, these films are so flexible. With that, I'd like to finish and thank my colleagues with fire and everything. We are working on both sides. Well, I would like to thank all my colleagues and students. Without them, it is almost impossible. I just wanted to give you a glimpse of the things that when a center is formed, it is not for uh, applying for a grant, but it is essentially you form the group first and then try to develop a center. Thank you.